All right, the next step, after you've already uploaded your data file for what checks you want to print or what checks you want to create, it says five checks, we've already uploaded it, we're going to print checks number 66 through 70. We've uploaded that file, I'm going to now review it. You can go through this information if you need, it tells you what's gonna show up on it and what the numbers are, 61 through 65 which isn't the correct file. So let's go do this again. I uploaded the wrong one. I'm gonna clear it just to make sure memory is cleared. I'm going to upload number V-2-3, five checks. Now I go to the review. I wanna have a look at it. It shows it up, here we are, 66 through 70. That's the correct file. I've uploaded it. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna save it. Now, it's gonna default to the name of the file, which tells me absolutely nothing, right? So I wanna tell it that I am running 66 check, 66 to 70. I would actually probably fill out the enchi entire check number. So let me go back and give it a little more description. Yeah, who's the genius who gave those numbers, right? Uh, anyway, this tells me where it came from. What's the source of that file? What's the source of the data? That's where it came from. And then we're issuing checks number 466 to 470. I'm gonna save it in the same place where my documents are saved, where everything else is saved. That way it lives someplace where I can go get it and it's quick and easy. So the next thing for me to do is to go actually get that PDF. So in File Explorer, there's the PDF, and there it is. Those are the physical checks. I should say there. those are the digital checks onto which we're going to print this file onto pre-printed blank stock. The stock has nothing in it. And that's important to understand and that's important to know. So. I'm gonna go pull up Staples and show you what that stock would look like. All right, so here is Staples, simple check stock, nothing printed on it, they're just blank. You get 500 of them for 40 bucks. It's super simple, you can get them delivered. I always have a few of these sitting in my bag in my travel kit. So if you need to create your own check stock, you don't have to wait on someone to hook you up. You can actually never on a show have to print your own stock if you don't want or you don't have to have them printed you can print your own and you can do it using our check module our stock module this is another vendor who i've purchased from in the past there's another one which the name i can't remember but this stuff is like picking up dirt man it's it's everywhere just do a search for blank check stock on the internet and you'll get what you need and then you can create your own checks i'm finished clears it out of memory now it's reset and I've built the file, well, I uploaded the file, I then proofed the data, and then I built the file, I saved it, and now once I save the file, I wanna print it. I open that file up, and I just print it into onto blank check stock. The file I'm looking to print is this PDF that is checks number 466 to 470. I'm obviously not gonna do that here because it's not interesting to watch. It won't really teach you anything, but that is the process. And when it's finished, what we end up with is a stack of checks like I showed you in 461 through 465. This is the original batch that I showed on the beginning. And that's it. Once it's finished, it is, you're ready to go. You just take these checks that I scanned to show you the example and you print them on, or you stick them inside your printer just like you would any other check stock and you're done. You don't have to wait for someone to send you check stock. It's there for you, it's free, use it at will. It's behind our, uh, it, what do we call this? It's behind our sidecar access and the reason for that is we don't want scammers and fraudsters out there printing checks or using an online system for printing checks if they have a routing number, an account number, and the formatting from a printed check from somebody else in the past 
We don't want that out in the wild. We don't want scumbags making checks so they can be fraudsters and writing bad checks using blank check stock they get from Staples. They're going to have to figure it out on their own. They're not going to have easy access to our system. This is not brain surgery. It's there for you. Use it if you need to. It's, it's free. It's part of your service. And if you have access to the sidecar and all of the other products that we have that help you do your job, you have access to this as well.